Welcome back to another Torch Review. I have the Claris ST10 in for review and this was sent in via Bantac for testing. So this is a new super compact model out from Claris. So we just run through the packaging that's included. You can see the output there, 1100 lumens and on the side some of the specs. You'll notice the range on this about 115 meters and the candela is quite uh, low rating which means you're going to get quite a wide beam spread on this. And on the back of the box, we just go over some more of the details. You can see the four power levels, two strobe modes. You do get a battery that is included with this, and you do have the micro USB port for charging. This is the micro USB cable that you get, and a spare O ring. And the Claris wrist strap, same as the other Claris ones that I've looked at with the low profile adjuster. And you also get a mini USB LED light plug this into a power bank, use it as a spare light. Now the seller, not Claris, have included this um, extra holster so that you have one. There is an optional one from Claris, I believe. I haven't used that. This is a third party one, but it fits the torch just fine. It's a respectable enough holster and I'm glad they included that because it's something which I might find useful with a torch of this size. So just run over some of the basic details. You can see the dimensions are listed out there. So this is just over 11 centimeters in length. So it's pretty compact for a 18650 torch. And you have a look at the design here. You've got a flat button. There's the micro USB charging port. Quite a decent size cover on this, a silicone flap, and that fits in place quite firmly, goes in quite deep. So that shouldn't come out by accident. And then looking at the LED, we have an XML 2 U2, but notice the optical lens just over the LED. So that should give us quite a bit of a beam spread on that. This is a stainless steel clip. You can remove that if you want. I generally leave that on there. It's quite a low profile one. And on the base, you'll see you have the four points, four cutouts, so you can attach the wrist strap. That part's flat, so it's just a single switch on this, but overall nice enough little design. They've got a good bit of knurling on the body as well. So we just unscrew the head. This is how you get to the battery. You can see we have smooth threads. There's the protector. We have the gold-plated spring at the top. So just remove that, take that out. The battery that you get with this is um, Claris branded one. It's obviously a Panasonic rewrap rated to 2,600 milliamp hours. So not as high as some of the other capacity uh, batteries, but these batteries are good quality cells. So you can always use a higher rated one if you want, but it keeps the price down. This is a bit more affordable compared to so many other Claris models. In there you can see we also have a spring. So dual springs, you can use the flat top cells with this if you wish. We'll just screw that back up. It's a shame it's not anodized because you could have used a lockout, just a mechanical lockout, but there is a, a button lock on this. So a quick look at the user manual. And this just runs through all the specs and the details again. So you can pause that and have a look. I just put the manuals up in case people are interested. There's your warranty as well and recharging. It covers everything you need to know, but I go through it anyway in the review. So it's just a single press um, to turn it on. And then you just push to cycle through the modes, long press to turn it off. So you've got the four power levels and it has a mode memory for each of those power levels too. You'll notice the battery indicator come on, we'll cover that a bit later on. Now to get to the strobe, you need to double press and then double press again will take you through to the next strobe mode. You have the strobe and the SOS. And then if you single press, it takes you back to the last used power settings. And you do have instant access to the low. Just push and hold it for a couple of seconds. And that takes you to the lowest output. And in the lockout, you just hold it for a longer period of time. So it's around about five seconds. And you'll see it flash to let you know that you're into the lockout. Now the switch isn't too easy to activate, but it's useful that they've included that. So overall fit and finish is as good as you would expect from a Claris. Um, as in the nice machining good quality uh, finish the anodizing and it's quite a light torch as well and there's a comparison compared to the warrior at the top which isn't that big uh, for a 18650 but you can see it's quite a lot smaller and the S1R turbo at the bottom obviously different type of battery that's a really small torch but this is good size for a compact 18650 and it will resist rolling around even without the clip on and fairly stable base stand this will just show you the um, power levels that you get, the battery level indicator, the three three there, and it flashes when it's down to the 10%, so that's four, and no problems with the water resistance test. 
charging speeds were uh, just under one amp so pretty close and it terminated at 4.18 so no issues there now i'm going to go through my beam shots you'll notice with the claris because of that optical lens what you get is a big diffused hotspot there is a bit of spill a bit more than you can see on the camera uh, but that's typically what you get with that type of reflector and lens compare it to the smooth reflector on the rofus tr20 and you'll see the difference immediately. It's a much more focused beam. Even though this is a mixed beam torch, it's not as tight as a tactical beam. Quite different beam patterns on these. That's why I'm showing you these three ones. And the M2R Warrior, which has a textured reflector. Again, more spread out light. So they're all three of these are quite different. So it really depends what you are looking for. So I'll run through my beam shots and then we'll come back with a few thoughts at the end. <laughs> couple of thoughts with the Claris ST10. Now this is a brand new model that's come out but I believe uh, quite a few years back there was an AA1 with the same model name but this is really aimed at someone who wants a compact 18650 torch. Keep the size down but you've got the benefits with the larger cells such as the higher power output and also much better run times than you'll get off of a smaller battery torch. So I can certainly see the appeal on this. couple of things for me. I would have liked to have had a moonlight mode included, not really bothered about the instant turbo on some of the other models, but that would be quite useful to have, so extra power level would be nice. Also, part of me thinks that the magnetic base, that would be something some people would like. Again, it's a fairly small point, 
And I'd just like to see Claris perhaps add some neutral white options to their torch range at the minute because that's something which does sort of stick out as well as the moonlight mode which is missing on a lot of their torches. But in other areas though, nice little uh, torch, certainly a good job with the micro USB port. Don't always get that on the compact 18650 torches and you still have most of the features as well as the LED battery indicator. So let me know what you think on this, what you're looking for in a pocket torch and I will catch up with you in my next video review very shortly.